James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 11th, 2023, 6 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen our fifth M flare today. NASA has this at a 5.7, and it looks like this is closer to a 5.8 on goes. And we do have it at a 5.79. We'll round it off and say 5.8. Again, the fifth M flare, one, two, three, four, five M flares in a row in the last 12 hours, ladies and gentlemen. And believe it or not, two of these, the largest two, are not from the sunspot coming around the limb. Our wonderful NOAA and NASA agencies changed their mind and assigned the M6.7 class solar flare here to sunspot AR3368, which we're about to look at. You can see the five M flares in a row here. No C spikes. We're almost to an M baseline. They haven't assigned the M5.7 flare yet, but I think we can see where it came from as well. It looks like it's going to be coming from 3363. Let's take a look. All right, the latest data has that large M 6.7 solar flare coming from 3368 right here. Very strange. We'll take a look. As you can see, it doesn't look like much, but that's what they're calling out now. All the M1 flares, including the M1.9 flare, are all associated or originated from AR3372, which is visible around the limb now. And I'll let you guys decide, but it looks like AR3363 here just popped out a flare finally. And that's going to be the latest flare. Our M5.7 you see here coming in at 2215 UTC time and ending at around 2224 UTC time. We did have action from 3363 earlier in the day, but I say they were only C flares. We had a C6.4, a C4.5, and a C7.5. I believe this latest M5.7 is from that same sunspot group. Let's take a look and let me know what you guys think since it's not been actually attributed yet. All right, let's take a look central disk. And I believe that that is the flare there right above. As you can see, it happened right there. Now there's also activity over on the limb, as you can see. So this is another toss up. We have a dual explosion, one coming from right above the coronal hole, earth facing 3363. At the same time, we have something on the limb over there coming out of AR3372. This is getting tough, and like I said, we're almost to an M flare baseline. It would be something that no one has ever seen before, at least not in this lifetime. All right, we'll go back and we'll take a look. And there's the hit over the U.S. here at 1808 UTC time. That was the first large flare that hit. And as we move on, we're going to see that we just got hit at 22. Looks like it peaked at around 22.16 UTC time. And that's going to be another very strong flare, as we discussed. This first one being an M. 6.83 now, according to NASA. And the second one that's just impacted us, not that there wasn't another M flare between these, there was two, which is not as strong. We're looking at an M 5.86. What a day this has turned out to be. Five M flares that look like they came from three different sunspots. I guess we'll get more information before our nightly space weather update. 
It's going to be interesting. I hope to see you there live at about 8 39 o'clock. Please share, subscribe, and always remember anything's possible in Bizarro World.